Hello students, um, I just thought I'd uh, make a YouTube video announcing um, a couple of updates that I've made to the quick exam um, script file. Um, so these updates mostly just help with the um, practice version, making it more user friendly. As you can see on Moodle now we have both the old version that um, you have been using to practice your CAD stuff, um, and this newer version here which um, I think is significantly improved. Uh, for those of you who have had a hard time um, running the program in, in your own uh, home or whatever, um, the, ba the way to do it is to save the script file somewhere, in this case I'm saving it to the desktop, and um, once you have the script file saved into a, a blank AutoCAD document, so a document with nothing in it, um, you can grab that script file, I think this one's the one I just uh, downloaded, click and hold it, Drag it into the CAD window, and when you're up in the actual model space, let it go. And when you do that, you'll be prompted to load it in. Um, you can see I've updated the version to 1.1 here, um, but once again, the commands remain the same. So the, um, the changes in this version are that um, there is now practice mode as well as test mode. Test mode you're already familiar with, that's when you uh, just have a random assortment of questions. The practice mode, however, um, gives you the option of which problem you want to work with. So all 20 problems um, are contained in that, uh, in these lists, um, and you can just sort of pick the ones that you want to. Um, also while I'm here, I may as well show you, um, or make a, at least a video record of some of the ways to solve the problems that have been um, tripping up most students. So I'll start with this line angle problem. Um, drawing the line at an angle that's specified, some sort of um, strange angle that doesn't easily fit into your um, polar snap settings. That can be done by um, beginning the line command, um, and it's actually a couple of ways. The way I prefer is to use uh, less than. So if I uh, type the less than symbol on the keyboard um, and then my angle, AutoCAD knows to snap into that angle. The other way to do it is to um, hit tab, and I can move onto the angle here, change that to 38, and then I might specify a length of uh, whatever. So that's now a line with an angle of 38 and a length of um, 10. The message for well done, and you can choose your next problem. Um, what else has been throwing people off? Uh, this problem, I think, has been causing a bit of headaches. So um, with this problem, when you need to, uh, I've changed the wording as well, so it now says uh, snap to the center of the blue circle. Um, but even then, the issue that a lot of people had been having um, was that they, they didn't know exactly where to finish their snap. So it's important in this problem to have intersection snapping turned on, um, because what you actually need to do is snap to the center of the circle and then um, snap to this intersection. If you go too far over, um, it's not the, uh, the correct completion there, you'll need to try again. Also, I just wanted to illustrate there that if you do make a mistake, that you're now uh, repeating into the same problem. Let's say you got particularly stuck on a problem, though, you, you couldn't get to the right um, solution and you wanted to um, have a go at another problem, but the, the program keeps feeding you the same question. There is now also the command QE reset. So that um, will reset the, the script. It lets you once again select between practice and test, um, pick a new starting point, and then a new uh, line to work with, a new um, question to work through. Uh, what else do we have here? Into snap. Uh, now the radius wouldn't shouldn't really trouble you. Um, that one should be an issue. I've seen a few people, I mean, have trouble with this polyline problem, um, and that's really uh, mostly my fault for the wording and the problem again. Um, what I intended uh, users to do when drawing a polyline between these points um, was to read this section top left to bottom right as topmost and leftmost um, to bottom and, and rightmost. Not the clearest, but if you do it that way, then uh, you will get the correct answer. Um, what else do we have? Um, so you shouldn't have any problem with 2P and 3P circle if you or move circle. Actually, this this one, yeah, you um, might not have the easiest uh, understanding of. Um, so with this one, I mean, there's a few ways to do it, as I mentioned in the lecture, um, the first week lecture, that is. Um, in this particular case, the, probably the easiest way is to select the circle um, and then to check the object properties. So the properties of this circle contain both its x and y position. And if I enter in the um, x coordinate and y coordinate provided in that particular question, then the, um, the panel is completed correctly. Um, 
time, what else do we have? So, move circle, concentric circles, so that should be fine. Wi-Fi radius, circumference, so these are all variations on the same thing. Um, I suppose a mirror, a few people have had trouble with this. Um, you actually need to, I mean, as it says, mirror the yellow circle about the blue line. So that means I'm mirroring this circle using the blue line as my mirror line, and I am erasing the source objects. Um, we also have, I think, rotate might be the last one we'll go through. So that's thrown a few people off, um, mostly because when we're specifying a clockwise angle, um, you have to remember that AutoCAD measures angles as anti-clockwise positive. So if I want to rotate this yellow line about the center of this blue circle uh, to a clockwise angle of 34 degrees, I need to enter negative 34 on the keyboard. Well, that's the, um, the updates that I've added, so I hope you find those helpful in practicing. Um, do come and see me if you have any issues, and I wish you all the best of luck in the coming test.